Hey citizens, welcome to Eleven's Hangar. Today, we are taking out the Banu Defender and Star Citizen Alpha 314. I'm going to start with a ship overview. We are now in session. The Banu Defender is a two-seater craft with a light fighter designation. It has two main thrusters, two retro thrusters, and ten maneuvering thrusters. Its intended role is to defend the Banu Merchantman on its route. Featuring appropriated tech in the form of GN thrusters and Taveran shields, the Defender is surprisingly agile and fast for its size. Interior accommodations are more than satisfactory, with two beds, gun racks, and space for completing box missions, if that's your thing. The quantum fuel capacity is enough for two round trips from Port Alisar to Microtech, with fuel to spare when using the Siren military grade quantum drive. For weapons, the Defender has four size 3 hardpoints and two bespoke size 3 missile racks. Today's loadout will consist of four fixed size 3 attrition repeaters from Hurston Dynamics. We will also be testing the effectiveness of an all ballistic loadout using the Mantis GT220s. Missiles will consist of four ignites, but my recommendation is EM tracking Dominator 2s as they make a great follow-up to damaging an opponent's shields due to the fact that your opponent's EM levels are really high during shield capacitor refresh and shield recharge. For components, we are using one size 2 FR76 shield generator, two size 1 JS300 power plants, two size 1 glacier coolers, and one size 1 siren quantum drive all grade A military spec components. Next up is atmospheric flight. The Defender likes to slide into direction changes, so boost will definitely be needed to assist in tight maneuvers. After flying for a bit, the response gets pretty predictable and easy to manage. You definitely need to roll into your turns with boost especially if you are evading gunfire or a missile. Make sure you give yourself plenty of room for maneuvers close to the ground. I'd recommend getting used to flying the Defender close to the ground so you know what to expect in the pinch. While we're on the subject of maneuvers, let's cover the barrel roll and its uses. The barrel roll can be used to evade missiles or gunfire that are in head-on approach. In Atmo, it requires a little pitch in addition to yaw and roll, but for today, we will cover its uses in zero G. The blue arrows indicate the center of the space you will be rotating around during the maneuver. First, let's just roll while flying straight. You can see by the engine trails that your ship is spinning on one axis. When we add yaw and look at the engine trails, you can see that you are rotating on two axes. The slower the roll, the wider the barrel, the faster the roll, the narrower the barrel. This is done by rolling left while yawing right. This can be done with keyboard and mouse or controller, but it is a lot easier to add variation and change the speed and width or narrowness of your barrel roll with flight sticks or flight stick and pedals. We showed this maneuver in its practical application later on in this session.
Now we move to scenario one. We are approaching a larger, more armored and armed target. We're going to fire missiles, then get in close and use the target's engine trails to predict its movements and stay in its blind spot. When you see the arc of the engine trail, you want to be perpendicular to it while maintaining aim on the rear half of the ship. Keep an eye on incoming fire and transition focus to top rear or bottom rear of craft as needed. This will keep the target from bringing all guns to bear at once. scenario will visually indicate when the maneuvers we've discussed in this session and the previous sessions are being performed. I will return for the ballistic test. same tactic that we used with the Valkyrie earlier. Maintain the close orbit and stay in the target's blind spot. You can enjoy the rest of the combat and I'll see you at final analysis. Defender is one of those ships that have grown on me over time. It has awesome amenities and its travel range is astounding for its size and designation. 
The stock weapons package is lackluster, as the Tachyon cannons are currently not even worth a mention. When properly equipped, the Defender is awesome and I grade it combat effective. I hope that this session has been informative and that you take something useful from it. The Free Fly event is going on until August 27th. Also, Eleven's Hangar is giving away a Pisces C8X, so don't forget to comment. That concludes the Banu Defender Combat Test Flight. Session dismissed. Till next time, stay frosty, and I'll see you in the verse. Eleven out.